Wow, we got in a bunch of stuff from the Fish and Dam family subscribers and a bunch of new baits we're going to try out in 2022. Let's get going. What's up, everybody? If you're brand new to fishing or just coming back to it after a long time away from the water, hey, welcome to Fishing with Gramps right here on YouTube. We're a fishing community that loves fishing and sharing the passion to everybody out there. Whether you're a new angler, returning angler, or somebody who's been at it a long time, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, man, I got in a bunch of stuff that I just had to get out and break out this video because we got so much stuff in. Now, I put in an order for a bunch of new baits that I want to try out in 2022, but along with that, I got a bunch of stuff in from subscribers that I just have to open and take a look at. First up, we got a package in from Carol Ferg, longtime Fishing with Gramps community member. She knows how much I love chatterbaits. She says she's going to send me something because she knows how much I love chatterbaits, but something different to try out. Oh, <laughs> all right. So this is a different spin on a chatterbait for sure. Check that out. It's like a swim jig with an underspin with a chatterbait blade on top. <laughs> we'll have to pair this up with some Yamamoto Zakos that are black and blue and give this a toss. But what an interesting concept. It's literally like a swim jig with a chatterbait blade on the top with an underspin. That is a unique, unique design. Thanks, Caroline. We will have to give that a throw. That looks pretty interesting. Next up, we got a package in from Bass Geek. Old Gramps actually won a giveaway on the Bass Geek live stream. I've been waiting for this. This is pretty slick. We all know I love to throw a drop shot. It's one of my favorite finesse techniques. So I actually won a third eye drop shot kit with the dojo worm. Comes with two different set of weights, the tube design and the round ball head design, plus some pretty slick drop shot hooks. I like the little bubble in the tail here. I get the feeling that that stands up with water, but I've never thrown anything from third eye fishing before. So this would be great. Hank, thanks a bunch. It's kind of funny to enter to win somebody else's live stream. Sweet. Next up, we got a box from Sly Fox Fishing. If you remember, Sly Fox is the one who actually won the Monster Bass Christmas Party Frog giveaway because he was the first one to catch a bass on video with the Christmas Party Gone Bad Frog. So he ended up winning a $150 gift card to buy a fishing rod with. That was pretty awesome. But Sly Fox said he had something special for me because he knows how much I love Shimano Reels. Used to fish tournaments with him years ago. So he said he's going to send me out a little something something. Oh. Oh man. This is awesome. This is an old Shimano Bantam reel. And he said I could actually fish with it. It's still good shape. But nope, like the old Bill Dance had up there, this is going to stay on the fishing man cave wall as part of our bass fishing history. Sly Fox, brother, man, I really appreciate this. This is really, really cool. Sly Fox, sir, thank you so much. Man, how do you top that? All right, so the fishing season for 2022 is coming up on us pretty quick. Everybody down south is already fishing. Those of us here in the Midwest and up. We're still having those cold days. Starting to see a warming trend. Things are thawing out. People will be hitting the water here real soon. With that, this is the time of the year where anglers always start stocking up, getting ready for the fishing season. So let's take a look at some of the things I'm going to try out here in 2022 coming up. This is just the first unboxing. I got a lot more stuff on the way in. Because hey, we want to try out a bunch of new stuff, see what works and see what doesn't. Now first up, people have been telling me I need to try these because I love throwing a chatterbait so much. It's probably Probably the number one recommended trailer that I've never thrown that people tell me that I need to be throwing and that is the hog farmer spunk shed so I got some in the bluegill color and I also got some in a ghost minnow color oh man you can smell that sauce that is for sure and one thing people always tell me about is the action of that tail and you can see right there it doesn't matter how much i try to hold still it keeps wiggling i can already tell this is going to be a winner on the back of a jackhammer so that is the ghost minnow color man that looks really good and it's really sauced i don't know what kind of, i don't know what the name of their sauce is but boy you can smell it and this is their bluegill pattern and that is gorgeous that is going to look great on the back of one of those big blade chatterbaits turn it over here what a gorgeous looking bait <laughs> that tail just whipping <laughs> it don't matter what i do to try to hold still it still just keeps on wiggling so that is the hog farmer bay company spunk shed so i got 
these two packs to try out with the chatter baits, the jackhammers. Next up, another bait that I've heard a lot about and I've seen a lot primarily on creek fishing adventures, put a walker outdoors, and recently the, the guys over at Burley Fishing have been talking a lot about them. And that is the Nico Helgramite. And then I got some what they call the magma, which is like their red. And then also I got some of the leeches that seem to be really popular for catching smallies. So I got some chartreuse leeches. And it says this is a limited edition. Oh, I guess these are three of these are limited edition colors. And they actually had some uh, chartreuse helgramites, but I missed out on those. I'll have to watch for a restock. And then I also got some of these magma leech colors as well. So this year... I'll probably throw these. I've seen these thrown often like on a Ned Head style bait, mushroom style. Everybody calls everything a Ned these days, but just so that you know what I mean when I talk about Ned hooks. All right, next up, and you can only find these at Dick's Sporting Goods right now. So I got, made a run, had to go get me some uh, some of the Lord's chicken from Chick-fil-A. And up next to our Chick-fil-A in Bloomington, <laughs> Dick's Sporting Goods. That's right, the boys from the Guggen Squad have now got into Terminal Tackle. When they said they were gonna take the industry by storm because they got Got ignored by the industry the Guga takeover is real folks whether you'd like it or not the Guga squad is coming out with all kinds of new stuff and i knew this was going to be a big deal when trey epic left shimano as a brand manager and went over to the house of outdoors which is the parent company of the Guga squad hiring him and a bunch of other pros that really know what they're doing bringing stuff to market is making a big difference so here we have it we have some terminal tackle now we got tungsten weight and one of the things I really, really think is awesome that they did here was they put them in these little carrying tubes. It makes it awesome if you're a bank angler and wants to just throw some, you know, stuff into your tackle bag and hit the water. But I got some in an eighth ounce. I got some in a half ounce. And then I got some more eighth ounce because I like the super small ones. I did get the half ounce for something specific, and I'll show you that here in a second. Next up in the terminal tackle line, yep, Guggen Squad, Ned Heads. Two watt hook, eighth ounce baits. It's got a black nickel wire, razor sharp hook. Man, that's a good looking bait right there. What do we have those for? For our rattling Neds. They're pairing them up, boys. They even tell you. That's one thing I love about the Guggen Squad. They kind of tell you what matches from their rods to all of their terminal tackle now to go with the bait. You got Rattlin' Ned heads to go with the Rattlin' Ned baits. Woo! -hoo. Now to pair up with these 8th ounce tungsten weights. <laughs> we all know what else I love to throw. The Bandito Bug. Now we got the Bandito Bug flipping hooks. Pair them up with these 8 ounce tungsten weights. My favorite bandito bug. Throw it on the Texas rig. Catching bass. Now something else we can use these half ounces with. And those flipping hooks. Something new to the market. From the Guga Squad. The long awaited nuke punch. I'm actually going to do some punching this year. It's something I really never focused on this last couple of years. But there's a lot of places that I fish, having been around the state a little more now. There's a lot of places with heavy vegetation. And I know that people punch with these heavier weights and baits like this to drop down in those holes to catch those bigger bass. And since I'm on a big bass mission this year, I'm going to be throwing big bass fishing baits. The nuke punch is going to be one of them. Now, real quick, last but not least, let's talk gear i've got my kvd reel here that i really really love from lose but recently i was watching a video with debo and he was doing a live stream and i was like hey let's do something different if i'm going to be using my lose kvd reel for throwing my crankbaits this year why not try something new let's take this lose kvd reel and make it a little bit better so i ordered some of these spool speed bearings and we're going to do a little upgrade to the KVD reel to see if we can throw the little crankbaits and lipless crankbaits maybe a little farther. How cool would that be? So I'll do a separate video installing these and we'll test them out. I'll go do some casting beforehand and do some casting after and see how it works out. Should be a pretty cool little project. There's our first unboxing of new stuff we're going to try in 2022. <laughs> I got quite a few more coming, so stay tuned. What new baits, gear, or tackle have you picked up to throw here in 2022? 
2022. Drop me a comment down below. Again, thank you, Fishing Fam members, Cairo Ferg, Sly Fox Fishing, for sending me out some cool stuff. I really, really appreciate that. You guys, you really don't. The emails, the messages that I get, it, it just, you guys in the live stream the other night, every live stream, you just continue to drive me to want to keep making videos. I'm never going to be a monster YouTuber, but let me tell you, you guys make this fun for me. It's really, I really can't thank you enough for all the love and support. It's truly, truly amazing. Every year we grow a little more. We add new people to the fish and fam damnly. It's just, it's truly, truly amazing to me. Stay tuned. I got a lot more coming. We got a lot of different reviews to do, some more unboxings to do, and we're not that far from hitting the water. Until next time, get outside when you can and make some memories, one cast at a time.